This video will discuss sp3 hybridization and polyatomic bonding. So our model of an sp3 hybridized central atom here is going to be the carbon in methane. This is going to have a tetrahedral type bonding arrangement where all of our bond angles, all six pairs of HCH bond angles here, are all going to be at the tetrahedral bond angle which is about 109.47 degrees. We have a carbon which has six electrons. Two of those are in the 1s core orbital, occupied core orbital in the 1s for carbon. And four of them are going to be in the valence shell, constituting the 2s, 2pz, 2py, and 2px orbitals. We have four hydrogens. Those are arranged effectively at, you could imagine, a cube here around our central atom. And they're at alternating corners of the cube is a nice way where you can visualize uh, what a tetrahedral arrangement is. And each of those hydrogens is going to contribute one electron to the molecule and a 1s valence orbital for bonding. So just as in our other videos on sp and sp2 hybridization, we want a set of orbitals which are going to be normalized and orthogonal to one another and optimally arranged such that they point towards one of our given external atoms for the optimal bonding with our 1s valence orbital. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to form sp3 orbitals. These orbitals are going to be three parts or 75% p and one part or 25% s giving us the total sp3 name. The square root of 1 fourth gives you the normalization constant because all of these coefficients in here are going to sum up to 4, or all of these coefficients squared are going to sum up to 4. So normalizing them with the square root of 1 fourth out there. So all of them have a positive coefficient on the 2s orbital, and then they have the first one will have a positive coefficient in all of the orbitals equally weighted. And then in the other three, we'll have two of the uh, p orbitals will be negative and one of them will be positive. So you notice we have negative, negative, positive, positive, negative, 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 positive, negative. So all of these orbitals will be orthogonal to one another and all of them will be normalized. So those will point in the optimal directions. If you look at kind of these corners of the cube here, you look at this first one goes positive in the x direction, it goes positive in the y direction, positive in the z direction, ending up pointing towards our first uh, car, our first hydrogen atom. This one here goes negative in the x direction, it goes negative in the y direction, and then it goes positive in the z direction, ending up at hydrogen 2, etc. for the others. So that's going to point, each one is going to point directly towards a 1s orbital, and then you get bonding when they overlap constructively, and you get a buildup and accumulation of electron density there, resulting in bonding. And when they're adding together destructively, you get a depletion or uh, the lack of electron density and the nodal plane giving you antibonding between the two. <clears throat> so these linear combinations allow us to have them pointing in the optimal way for overlap and bonding with our external hydrogen atoms. They, they are orthogonal to one another, they're all normalized, and they give us the perfect tetrahedral shape where all of our bond angles are 109.47 degrees.